Our top story this morning, amid rumbling within its state units for the first time in the last two years, the Congress Working Committee will be meeting physically in a bid to quell unrest in Punjab, Chhattisgarh and Rajasthan units. The agenda of the CWC will also be the demands made by the G23 leaders who have demanded sweeping changes in the party and have sought organizational pools to elect a full-time president. The other key agenda will be the introspection over the recent poll defeats of the Congress and talking out a roadmap for avoiding the same mistakes in the upcoming elections. Shifting focus after NCP, now Maharashtra Chief Minister has trained his guns at the Narcotics Control Bureau over the superstar drug bust case. Sudhav so Thakre on Friday accused the NCB of deliberately going after celebrities for publicity. Thakre slammed the central agencies for their effort to create an impression that Maharashtra has become a hub of narcotics while stating that crores were seized at the Mundra Port Drug Hall in BJP-ruled Gujarat. Udhav taunted the NCB, saying it only sniffed small quantities of ganja, while Maharashtra cops have seized drugs worth 150 crore rupees. Speaking at the Shiv Sena's annual Dashera rally in Mumbai, Udhav accused the ruling BJP of defaming Maharashtra as the state rejected the party. Now, the cops have arrested and accused in the Singhu border murder case after the brutal killing of 35-year-old Lakhbir Singh at Singhu border. The police have arrested accused Sarabjit Singh, who surrendered to the cops and took responsibility of the murder. The accused will be produced in court today after medical test. Yesterday, a high-level meeting was called by Home Minister Amit Shah, Haryana Chief Minister with... Haryana DGP and Home Secretary after the gruesome murder during the wee hours of October 15. The victim allegedly committed sacrilege with the Sikh holy scripture after he was killed, after which he was killed. The matter was also, has in fact also reached the Supreme Court as a petition has been filed seeking removal of protesting farmers from the Singhu border after the chilling murder of the 35-year-old. This is not the first time when such a violent incident has taken place at protesting sites. There have been a series of such incidents. <laughs> A gruesome bone-chilling incident came to light from the Singhu border. A 35-year-old man was brutally murdered, his hand chopped off and tied to a barricade. He allegedly desecrated the Sikh holy book and was attacked by Nehangs, the armed Sikh warriors. Here's what happened. A blood-curdling, gruesome murder just meters away from the farm protest stage at the Singhu border near Delhi. A 35-year-old man hacked to death, his hand chopped off, tied to a barricade, strung up like an animal. Nearly a month before the farm protests here turned one year, the brutal murder has sent shockwaves across the country. Singhu border, where the protest is going on on the Singhu border, is going to be a case of the Singhu हरियाणा पुलिस के मुताबिक सुबह 5 बजे कोंडली पुलिस स्टेशन को जानकारी मिली थी कि जहां पर मंच है वहीं पर एक शख्स बैरिकेड से लटका मिला है पुलिस मौके पर पहुंची हालांकि भीड़ शुरुआत में डेड बॉडी है उसे देने से इनकार कर रही थी लेकिन कड़ी मशक्कत के बाद हरियाणा पुलिस ने डेड बॉडी को अपने कब्जे में लिया और पोस्टमार्टम के लिए भेज दिया है कई तस्वीरें वो सामने आई हैं जिसमें जो शख्स जिंदा था उसके हाथ कटे हुए थे वो बुरी तरह से तड़प रहा था लोग उसका वीडियो बना रहे थे टेक अ क्लोजर लुक एट दिस गास्टली इंसिडेंट द विक्टिम वो सराउंडेड बाय निहंग्स बिजी कैप्चरिंग द मर्डर द विक्टिम सीवियरली इंजर्ड एंड बेली अलाइव बट इज हर्ड रिप्लाइंग टू द निहंग्स एंड जस्ट मोमेंट्स लेटर ही इज टेकन एंड स्ट्रंग अप ऑन अ बैरिकेड एज अ डिस्प्ले According to the police, a preliminary probe suggests Nihang Sikhs, a warrior group, allegedly killed him on suspicion of disrespecting the Sikh holy book. 
ਧੰਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਬੇਵਦੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਘੋੜਾ ਦੇਖ ਘੋੜਾ ਬਿਮਾਰ ਸੀ ਢਿੱਲਾ ਸੀ ਕਰਕੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਫੌਜਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਸੋਦਾ ਲਾਇਆ ਦਾ ਗੋਟੀ ਵਰਤਾ ਦੀ ਲਾਤੀ ਵਰਤੀ ਹਮ ਵੀ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਕੋ ਵੀ ਹਮ ਰੈਫਰ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਔਰ ਬਾਕੀ ਜੋ ਇੰਟੈਲੀਜੈਂਸ ਇਨਪੁਟਸ ਹੋ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਬਾਕੀ ਜੋ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਸਾਖਸ਼ ਹਮਕੋ ਮਿਲ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਉਨਕੇ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਸੇ ਹਮ ਤਫਤੀਸ਼ ਕਰੇਂਗੇ ਅਕਿਊਜ ਕੋ ਹਮ ਪਕੜ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਸੀਨ ਆਫ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਮੇ ਕਾਮ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਇਨਸਪੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਹਥਿਆਰੋਂ ਕੇ ਲਈ ਵੀ ਹਮਾਰੀ ਤਲਾਸ਼ ਜਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਦ ਸੰਯੁਕਤ ਕਿਸਾਨ ਮੋਰਚਾ ਹੈਜ਼ ਰਨ ਫੋਰ ਕਵਰ ਡਿਸਟੈਂਸਿੰਗ ਇਟਸੈਲਫ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਇਨਸੀਡੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਸਕੁਐਰਲੀ ਬਲੇਮਿੰਗ ਦ ਨੇਹੰਗਸ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਮਰਡਰ ਜਾਂਚ ਕਰਦਾ ਸੰਯੁਕਤ ਮੋਰਚਾ ਨੇ ਬਿਆਨ ਜਾਰੀ ਕਰ ਦਿਆ ਹਮਾਰਾ ਇਸ ਕੋਈ ਹੋਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਿਸ ਨੇ ਮਿਲ ਜਾਏਗਾ प्रशासन पुलिस की हर कानून सम्मत बात में हम समर्थन करेंगे यह आंदोलन लोकतांत्रिक और शांतिपूर्वक तरीके से चला है और किसी तरह की हिंसा के लिए इसमें कोई जगह नहीं बट द बीजेपी हैज ब्लेम्ड फार्म लीडर राकेश टिकैत फॉर बीइंग द एनेबलिंग फोर्स बिहाइंड द इंसिडेंट सिमिलर सच इंसिडेंट सेवरल ऑफ देम हैव ऑल हैपेंड एंड कांट बी ब्लेम ऑन जस्ट वन पर्सन देयर इज ऑफ कोर्स अ बिग एनार्किस्ट लॉबी वर्किंग बिहाइंड and is yogendra yadav a farmer you call him a farm leader is he a farmer rakesh tiket you think he's a farmer remember rakesh tiket at india today's conclave refused to condemn the lakhimpur lynchings of bjp workers providing an action reaction justification for the violence intention hatya kari gayi hai ya hatya hui hai halat kya hai wo desh ka kanun batayega jo log गाड़ी से कुचल के 20 40 लोगों को लेकर आ रहा है वो गाड़ी में पकड़ा गया भीड़ ने क्या कर दिया होगा उसको आप हत्या नहीं कह सकते द विक्टिम एट द सिंगु बॉर्डर हैज बीन आइडेंटिफाइड एज 35 ईयर ओल्ड लखबीर सिंह अ रेजिडेंट ऑफ द चीमा कालन विलेज इन पंजाब तरनतारन डिस्ट्रिक्ट विद दिस ग्रूसम मर्डर द सिचुएशन रिमेंस टेंस एट द सिंगु बॉर्डर बट द बिग क्वेश्चन इज विल द मर्डरर्स बी ब्रॉट टू बुक and will the enablers be identified as well also what next for the farm protests with arvind ojha at the singu border bureau report india today a car in chatisgarh rammed into a procession headed for durga immersion the incident resulted in the death of one and has injured 16 more the arrested suspects are allegedly cannabis smugglers here's more on that story These spine chilling visuals are from Chhattisgarh. Festive cheer turns into sheer horror on the streets of Jashpur. An SUV rammed into a Durga Puja procession, killing one and leaving 17 injured. The police have arrested two suspects, 21-year-old Bablu Vishwakarma and 26-year-old Shishupal Sahu. The suspects are allegedly cannabis smugglers. The incident allegedly happened when the two were smuggling cannabis from Odisha to Madhya Pradesh. Ye gaadi kaasi avail ki or se aa rahi thi aur yahan patthal ke patthal gaon idhar chauk ke paas usne burga jurus ko dash kiya jisme ek vyakti ki mukti ho gayi aur do critical injured hai jinke pairon mein chot lagi aur baki 15 hai jinko halki choti aayi thi. घटना की सूचना मिलते ही तत्काल पुलिस बल यहां पर उपस्थित हो गया था और घायलों के इलाज की समुचित व्यवस्था की गई है द हॉरिफिक इंसिडेंट स्पार्क्ड अ पॉलिटिकल स्लगफेस्ट द बीजेपी हैज कॉल्ड इट अ कोलैप्स ऑफ लॉ एंड ऑर्डर इन द स्टेट ये सीधा सीधा लापरवाही है और इस प्रकार असामाजिक तत्वों का हौसला छत्तीसगढ़ में दिन ब दिन बढ़ता जा रहा है कि असामाजिक तत्व किस हौसले के साथ भीड़ को कुचल सकते हैं इसका उदाहरण देखने को मिल रहा है मुझे लगता है कि इस पूरे घटना में मुख्यमंत्री को तत्काल संज्ञान लेना चाहिए छत्तीसगढ़ सीएम भूपेश बघेल कॉल द इंसिडेंट हार्ट ब्रेकिंग द सीएम अशोर्ड द गिल्टी विल बी पनिश्ड ही क्लेम्ड एक्शन इज आल्सो बीइंग टेकन अगेंस्ट कॉप्स अक्यूज्ड ऑफ लैक्सिटी ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टुडे 
The legacy war for Jayalalitha is back in Tamil Nadu. Sasikala is planning her comeback into politics. Chinnama will visit Jayalalitha's memorial at the Marina Beach today. Her first visit to the memorial after the release from prison. She also plans to visit party founder M.G. Ramachandran's residence on October 17 and initiate a state tour to visit various party functionaries. Sasikala has sought police protection to complete her tour. The face of Tamil Nadu politics changed in 2016 when Jayalalitha passed away, putting OPS in the chief minister's chair. 24 days after Jaya's death, Sasikala was named the General Secretary of the AIA DMK. On February 5th, OPS stepped down in support of Sasikala and just two days later, he declared an open war on Sasikala, triggering his expulsion from the party. In 2017, Sasikala was put behind bars in the assets case and party removed her from the General Secretary's post. All eyes have been on Sasikala this year since her release from prison and now her bid to make a comeback. Two Bollywood divas and their twisted links in a 200 crore rupees money laundering scandal. After evading the Enforcement Directorate's summons on Friday, Bollywood actress Jacqueline Fernandez has again been summoned by the probing agency, this time with bank statements of the last two years. The Enforcement Directorate is probing the scam perpetrated by Chennai-based conman Sukesh Chandrasekhar. The money trail led the Enforcement Directorate to Jacqueline Fernandez and Nora Fatehi. While Jacqueline is that she is a victim of the con man herself, the agency believes the actor knew Chandrasekhar well and was in regular touch with him on the phone. The ED has also questioned Canadian actress Nora Fatehi, long, along with Chandrasekhar, who is in the ED's custody. Like Jacqueline, the Canadian actress has also claimed that she has no connection with the fraudster. The agency has alleged that Nora had attended an event hosted by the con man's wife and received expensive gifts, gifts worth crores from the conman during the event. Welcome back. Yet another IPL title for the Chennai Super Kings. MS Dhoni's men were a little too strong for KKR in the grand finale in Dubai. With this championship victory, CSK also reduced the title deficit with the Mumbai Indians to just one. Here's a reminder of how the men in yellow won the title showdown. Congratulations to him and the whole Chennai Super Kings franchise. Mahindra Singh Dhoni and his men in yellow have done it again. They talk about experience. They added a sprinkling of you. Chennai Super Kings are the IPL champions and for the fourth time. You can see that. Yeah, jump it. Jump 2010, 2011, 2018 and now 2021. Celebrate with the family. MS Dhoni's men have finished this IPL cycle just the way they started, by winning what many thought belonged to them right from the start. We'll go to the boundary the first of the day. Having been put into bat first, Chennai Super Kings got off to a fantastic start, all thanks to their in-form openers. My head one, no, just over the top. The 61-run partnership ended when Sunil Narain had Ruturaj Gaikwad caught at long on, but not before the youngster had clinched the orange cap. Robin Uthappa gave Faf Duplessis good company at the other end, striking some massive blows as Chennai marched on. Brilliant. Faf, Duplessis. Faf, who had a reprieve from Dinesh Karthik very early in his innings, brought all his big match experience into play and raced to his sixth 50 of just 35 deliveries. After Utapa, Moin Ali wrecked havoc on the KKR bowlers along with Faf. He goes offside and Moin Ali gets a free hit. There's runs. CSK kept piling on the runs and 200 looked like a possibility, but CSK finished at 192 for 3, with Faf the last man out for 86. As he so customarily does. 
KKR openers two started with. And he finds the gap. That is a great. A couple of drop catches from MS Dhoni did aid KKR's cause as they raced to 55 for no loss in power play. The ball is playing games with MS Dhoni today. Venkatesh Iyer, who was the beneficiary on both those occasions, proved to be the wrecker in chief with yet another half century. Shubman Gill looking to go big as well. Just when Jadeja thought he had broken the partnership, replay showed that the catch was taken after the ball had struck a wire up in the sky. Shubman Gill survived with the delivery being deemed a dead ball. KKR finally ran out of luck with Shardul Thakur striking twice in the same over. The floodgates had opened up and Shubman Gill's departure shut the door on Kolkata. Now. From 91 for no loss, KKR suddenly were 125 for 8, and it was all over by then. No, no, to bowl. It's a single, and that is it. In the end, MS Dhoni and his Yellow Brigade were crowned champions and deservingly so. Sports Bureau, India Today. Victories in 2010, 2011, 2018 and now 2021 and a master.